is Logan Wild, the Commissioner of Agriculture for the state of Utah. We're coming with our weekly roundup and just kind of giving you some heads up about what's happening here in the state of Utah in our agricultural community. Um, some of the things that we've seen is the last couple days have been a little tumultuous and we've had a lot of wind. Um, but with that wind come a little moisture. Hopefully this moisture has hit some of those areas that have been impacted with the fires across the state, especially in the UNA area. We saw some snow that come into those, um, those climates and we are hoping that that helped with the fire situation up in the high elevations. Um, another thing that happened this week is we had a hay fire that happened down in Beaver County. Um, why I bring this up is because the agricultural community down in Beaver County come together and it was really impressive to me is how the agricultural communities across the state lend a hand when somebody is in need. Um, the people brought their tractors, they brought their equipment there to help put out this hay fire um, to minimize the losses that this one producer was feeling. Um, I am just really really touched by the outreach of um, help that was in that community. Um, another thing that's happening to, here in the state is we it's, it's fair season. We're having the state fair come to the state of Utah. Now this is a modified version of what this fair has been in the past and this is following COVID guidelines and directions. One thing that we are really excited though is that it's still happening. This week you're going to kick off with some rodeos and some events that are happening. We encourage you to get your tickets, come on down to the fair, um, bring your masks, um, make sure that you have a great time at the Utah State Fair, um, this modified version of the Utah State Fair. Um, the last thing that I want to bring to your attention is that the, we're starting to see some of the prices of agriculture come up, um, which is really significant. As we look at our economy across the state of Utah, um, the price of um, sheep and cattle and corn and hay, as that price comes up, that really has a trickle-down effect into our small communities across the state, which trickles into our larger communities. And so with this price increase and the bump that we've seen in the last few weeks, we really think that this is helping Utah's economy recover during this time of crisis. Thank you very much and have a good week.